Hello everybody, thanks for joining us, uh, hope you're all okay, um, bit of a, uh, you know, we're just responding to local, um, to, to recent events and of course there's a major search operation going on in the Atlantic at the minute and we pray those poor people um, in that submersive will be found, but of course we're concentrating on our own uh, missing person, which is of course not to uh, disrespect those people lost in the Atlantic, but isn't it kind of it's my, a, a typical time for Burke itself reflection where I'm going, hang on a minute, there's all this going on in the world and we're interested in uh, where a nobody sex offender is. You know, what's all that about? However, anyway, so I'll go on to, I was just, something just occurred to me then. So the gist of it is, I'm, well, I'm here with, uh, with Amanda James and Shin uh, and um, just say hello guys so I know there's no audio problem because this usually happens. <laughs> <laughs> hello hello Can say it again me? yeah there we go yeah yeah all good so you were kind of shin you were kind of like we were looking at the advert of 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 lawns of the sale of lawns property and um it says it's been vacant now i believe somebody contacted the i think tiffany mentioned this in a comment of the last video that we did and said that someone had contacted the seller the we call them estate agents over here um and they have confirmed or at least to their knowledge the property is vacant which means lawn's not living anymore now how much credibility does that have not saying that whoever it is is lying but of course it wouldn't be the first time Lawn's personal affairs have been taken advantage of. Oh, yeah, absolutely. it's got to be a lot. Where is he going to go with the dogs and all the garbage is still at the trailer? He didn't bring any of his hoard with him. Just realistically, where could he go? He can't go to his mother. I mean, I guess he could stay there very short term but i don't even think there's a spare bedroom the only thing he, that could have happened is he he had mentioned to casey that roy was given a piece of land by his uncle and he had a camper on that land i guess roy could have i mean lauren could have kicked roy out and roy's staying with mom and now lauren and the dogs are in the camper which is probably a step up from the trailer at this point it's Until he tries cleaner. to put a closet in it, and mm -hmm. it. all bets are off. Um, yeah, well, here's the thing, though. He has to he has to update his address with the with the website with the RSL. How do we lose a child predator who's well, on the RSL? That's what I was thinking. If he's moved, he has to alert probation. At least, I think he's still there. Yeah, I do. I find this a bit far fetched, and that concludes our stream. See you later, guys. Yep. <laughs> Take care. I, I checked. Uh, I checked three registries. I checked Maine. The address was still there, and also his place of employment. Uh, apparently, I guess he's running a pallet business out of there. And uh, <laughs> and then I checked the national registry, uh, and it said he was in Cornville. And then I checked South Carolina just to see uh, <laughs> if, if he was getting ready. And South Carolina is as hard to navigate around as, say, New Jersey is. You know, uh, I don't know whether they level them out and only let the highest levels uh, be publicized, but it's really hard to do a search engine. But I, I, I to use a search engine, but I, I, I was looking there. I think it's going to be fun to speculate on a few things, and a lot of it's wishful thinking on our part. Uh, but, um, but I, I, I think that's what that's what I thought we were going to be talking about. Uh, so. One, a friend has joined us. Hello. Hello. Oh. <laughs> I didn't want to say your name because I knew Shin would get very excited. Oh, <laughs> yeah, I saw friendly. you. I saw you pop up, and I didn't want to. I didn't Sexy know if it was thing a surprise. Or... Oh my goodness! <laughs> well, hello everyone. Hey, how are those polar bears and uh, and uh, staying away from swordfish since you've been away? I mean, I know you've been on vacation. Yes. Fantasy... Yes. <laughs> And if Andrew and I ended up in jail, you wouldn't give a shit. You just go to the beach, right? <laughs> absolutely, absolutely. I would say, ha ha ha, what an asshole! And then I go to the beach. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love what she directs it at us. Isn't it great? <laughs> yeah, 
So, uh, Tiffany, have you got any theories about what is going on with the sale of Lawn's digs? I mean, we talked about it last time, mm-hmm. but um, were you on the last stream with us? I can't remember. I no, was not. Yeah. No, yeah, you, we missed it. It was pretty funny because I think you told me about it before that Lawn is actually on Google's maps outside his property, which I thought was hilarious <laughs> because I'd never <laughs> took the time to look at it before. It's just so funny that he happened to be out there with fucking Roscoe at the time that they did it. Um, I know. And it's such like, you know, we, we were sort of, uh, the main focus of it was just um, looking at the, the state of it, which, mm-hmm. anyway... Do you have any theories about what the fuck is going on? Well, I suppose that the the point of this this stream is to talk about where he could be, right? Well, yeah. And why is properties for sale, of course? Because that that, one would assume that the two go hand in hand. Well, why wouldn't you want to sell this? It's beautiful. Did you also, uh, I don't know whether you got time to listen to the stream, but you've probably been able to figure this out for yourself because I think you've been, um, you know, looking at people's uh, comments and stuff. How he's put it for sale at a ridiculous price there. Who would have thought that Lorne would try and sell his junk for an inflated fee? When has that happened before? Hmm. Uh, Perhaps every single time that he tries to sell something. (laughs) Like his guitar. Did you try to buy his guitar or was it his journal? Uh, I tried to... Journal. Well, n- yeah, I asked him if the community could pay for the journal and he could give the money um, to Betty and he told me to fuck off, personally. To, well, he didn't say fuck off, he said, go and cry. I can't remember, I should have kept that message, but he deleted his YouTube comment. He said, his account, he said something, and I put it really like... You know, it wasn't offensive. I didn't say, hi, precious princess, or any bullshit. I just said, hi, Alon, um, I've got an idea. You can pay Betty back with the funds if you sell the journal to the to the community and we can use that money, which was kind of a, if you think about it, that was kind of a get-out for him, really, because he's not really paying anything and he still wouldn't have it. And he ended up getting nothing for the journal. Wasn't it worse than that? Didn't he want to sell it each by Each page? page. Ten dollars a page, yeah. yeah, something like that. It's ridiculous. Mm. Was that his prison journal? And we got the journal anyway. Yeah, yeah. exactly. <laughs> it's like it's good that that attitude of his completely backfired on him. <laughs> I have to say though, him telling you to go cry is pretty great. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah I remember. Did I didn't respond because, like, what was the point? It's like, right, okay, that's fine. You can't you respond know. when you're crying, man. It's hard. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> but I. Re- but what was funny about it was, I only. I can't. Re- obviously, it's a long time ago. But I remember trying to put it across that you know. I think that he's coming back to me now. I said, "You're not getting any money." Oh, that was it. He tried selling it for some kind of stupid price and wasn't getting anywhere. So I said, "I've got an idea. If you sell it to the community for Betty, so that she gets some money back." it will sell and you can also knock some of that debt off betty and he he interpreted that that i was crying because i've mentioned yeah. that, that you know that betty needed money but also i don't know whether you heard the beginning of the stream tiffany but i um oh no i didn't mention it i mentioned it to you guys off her i've kind of let the cat out of the bag now but um we're going to do a video soon on Lon's comments responding to people on his YouTube channel because some of them are brilliant. And it's not just the ones where he goes crazy. Some of the arrogance mm-hmm. is brilliant. Um, but, yes, sorry, we've got, I've got off on a, gone off on a tangent there, Tiffany. Do you, have any, um, do you have any theories about this crazy guy's up to or what? <laughs> well, I, I certainly think it's interesting that he's trying to sell a portion of his lot for seventy thousand dollars, a portion. Yeah, it's not the full thing. He's got to subdivide it first. He can't just do that. He gets okay. You live on that end. They got to do surveys. They got to do a whole whole bunch of shit. Yeah, but the but thing then we'll is, talk about Lauren. Right, exactly. Um, the listing doesn't have the full property. Right. So, I don't know. Can you explain this to me? Because this is the first I've heard of this. I thought that he was selling all the land that was his and the trailer for whatever it's worth for 70000 According to what the listing has, it's not the full acreage. So 
it's it's possible that it's incorrect maybe but i do find it interesting that the photo that's used and it's only one of course is just where the trailer is and everything that's in front of it right right like take the so, shit area and then i'll take the undeveloped area and fuck that place up too yeah yeah right so how oh, much certainly. is left <laughs> um, how much yeah. is well, left of the land well, let's see. So NCA is saying that there's a quarter acre on the listing that's for sale. And then the total is 1.4 acres. Oh, right. okay. So he's got to put a disclaimer in there uh, about uh, the neighbors can't mind a, a pedophile screaming at the top of his lungs at night, too. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm, bonfires. I'm so curious what he's planning on doing with the well, entire place. I bet he, he's planning on selling the trailer and the land that he destroyed <laughs> directly surrounding the trailer, like Shin said. And then he's going to use the the rest of it to build his own house with his bare hands. That's been his plan <laughs> oh, for a long time that'd be now. Oh, great saga. Oh, my God. That'd be great. I really bet that's – that's if he's only selling a portion of the land, that, that would probably be the plan. So not right. only do you get the trailer – and the land that he destroyed, you get Lauren as a neighbor. <laughs> You're right. And I'm up for that. And built shack. So it's a, a, a corporation that kind of doesn't have uh, its, its uh, what it does should buy it. And then they should put up like a daycare center so he can't be anywhere on that land. Oh, that interesting. Awesome. Yeah, a great idea. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, it, it's interesting that he's selling this trailer that he's been working on for years, making it better, right? This is the one that whenever he's talking to his woman, he's talking about all of the projects that he's doing. He's so busy and he doesn't want them living in a bad place. He wants them living in a nice home. And this is the end result of all of that. Isn't that crazy? So, so you're saying he threw his it hands up in there and gave up? It doesn't surprise me at all. Yeah, he's never finished a project in his life no why would he finish the trailer he he no, didn't he, finish he, betty's job he didn't finish the tear uh -huh. down house he quit several jobs just yeah. one, there was one job he had for one day I'm, yeah at the tanning place <laughs> I, yeah i never suspected that he he would finish anything in that trailer let alone the entire trailer he hasn't even finished a closet his own bedroom. Know, the walls are painted. It has no roof. Yeah, yeah. That that shelf that that structure is fucked up. He, nobody could live in that thing. No, when, when, definitely not. <laughs> when Lauren says, uh, "You know, I've been up since three thirty, working my ass off," and I said mm -hmm. this earlier, I said, "What he's saying is, I got up early to wreck shit. That's what I did." You know, like you said, like you said, Amanda. He, what he does is he starts a project, doesn't complete it, and then starts another project, but he leaves them disassembled. So yeah, is, is that it. how it's got to the wreck that it is? Because obviously if you just leave it, do nothing to it, one would assume it's not just going to end up like it is and just fall to pieces. Is it that he's tried to do so much work on it, not finished it, and it's resulted in this catastrophe of of a structure? Just Because it just looks terrible, doesn't it? It's like, how yeah. would you let it get to that point? It's really strange. You know, well, that's where I'm going He tears it apart. He, yeah. Sorry, real quick. He tears no, it no, apart go, 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 please. Mm -hmm. and then doesn't doesn't repair it. But not only that, he tries to make it really fancy, which is hilarious. Um, chandeliers. He, <laughs> yeah, chandeliers. He got that big chandeliers bathtub from, from the, the door in the ceiling. Yeah. Right. He tried to build a stone wall on one of the, the like the living room walls, I think. So without any skill to do it, and it's only half done. So he just kind of slathered on the, um, I don't know, what, what do you call it? Like the mortar or whatever. Yeah. And then threw yeah. some some stones up there on the wall and left it half done and just left a big pile of rocks in his living room. Yeah. Are those the rocks the that day. ended up in the front? Yeah. Maybe, so. maybe possibly, yeah. Or the rocks, he, he got a truckload of rocks, dumped them on his lawn, brought some inside to make a stone wall, gave up halfway through, moved on to the bathroom, didn't finish that, started ripping the siding off of the house, didn't finish that, 
replace some windows. They're all mismatched and different and look totally stupid. Didn't finish that. And now he's just given up. Well, if you think the front looks bad, you should, you should see the back. Uh, Reborn sent a picture. Uh, it's just plywood. No windows, nothing. It looks like it's just boarded up. Oh, the and back of said, the trailer? The entire back? Yeah, the back of the trailer. It's just plywood, you know, just nailed up haphazardly. Oh, but, that's interesting. But Jose Arguero, he, he might have finished Taking Abroad 2, uh, The Revenge of Trevor or something. And... Uh, and, he, and he's on a book tour too. He could be oh, doing that. You know. Oh uh, yeah. I, I wish. I well, wish there was a taking abroad too. Good. Oh Lord. God, yes. I just want to mention something really quick. I said that he was working at a tanning place. That's where he worked for one day. I just want to clarify because somebody what? I can't find the comment right now. <laughs> it's not a tanning salon. Like a tanning. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so yeah. I, I thought of that as soon as I said it. I was like, oh God, people are gonna think. Oh no, the leather tanning. Leather tanning. The leather tanning, yeah. exactly. Okay. So manufacturing. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, exactly. So What's I just wanted leather to tanning? make that clear. Ooh, that it's would be like a horrible treating. job, wouldn't it? Yeah, it's a lot of chemicals yeah. and shit. They, they, yeah. They, uh, yeah. It's a minimum wage job too. A lot of it is Yeah, it's just probably um the stuff that nobody wants to do. That's why they kept taking him back all the time. Mm -hmm. it's, it's work that nobody wants to do so whoever will do it they just you know will pay them minimum yeah, but, but leather tanning is treating the leather so it can be used yeah but he, he they, they they can report he did that with a couple of places he did that with walmart too and and if you read the pre-sentence <laughs> report it says at the end of you know he, he started here he ended here like two months then he came back a year later mm -hmm. you know at some point the employer said he's not welcome back here anymore oh sure so, yeah you know yeah, so he's, he's running out of places. I, I think my theory revolves around the appearance of the place. I think mm -hmm. one of two things could have happened. I think the, the city or, or town or whatever it is could have come by and just slapped a condemn sticker on the damn thing or something or, or, or yeah. told him yeah. you've got, you know, three months to clean this up and you're, and you're running up fines every day, mm -hmm. you know, until you do. Or <laughs> Uncle Clay could have come by and say what the fuck is going on here <laughs> <laughs> there's no way that you could be entrusted with property there's no way that right. anything you touch turns to shit i'm gonna get you a trailer and i'm gonna put put you on a land just like i agree with uh i think it was tiffany said this that that he could end up getting an you know just a small trailer on a little small piece of land but i don't think anyone would put that in his name anymore i think he's already shown how irresponsible, how destructive he is, you know, when he has, when he owns things, you know, and, and I'm yeah. concerned about the dogs too, but you know, we'll talk about oh, that absolutely. Later. Yeah. So uh, as far as the, the house though, and all of his projects, I think it also comes down to financing. He doesn't have the money to buy any of the materials. He gets right. all of them from the dump. And right. so I think that that has stuff to do with that as well. He's, um, obviously incredibly cheap and there's nothing wrong with getting material from wherever you no, can that's get all it. it's the only place he gets it though it's you, the only place said... he gets it so everything yeah. is kind of haphazard so the reason why he he has windows where they are is because he found a window and, and he reuses so fiberglass he uses sure, reuses yeah. fiberglass that's been in a house for 30 years and, you know mm -hmm. there was one uh text where he was talking by the way kudos to patrick that that compilation of text messaging was was fantastic yesterday. <laughs> but in one of those texts, he talks about, "Honey, I could I I almost put the door in, but I need two two by fours." And I'm thinking, what's what's so hard about that? Just go down to Home Depot and get them cut and bring them down there. And it made yeah. me realize he's waiting for the, for somebody to dump them at the dump so we can take them. Yeah, exactly. And he, and the funny thing too about this wood, and you can see it in the the picture. Um, over to that collapsed sort yeah. of the carport. Um, there's wood just laying on the ground on the ground. So it's just it's just sitting there. Yeah. I, I think he, he just I, I seriously think that he's doing this against his will somehow. And I think his way of of dealing with it with it is to put up some kind of a protest, you know, price on it. Okay, I'll make sure it never gets sold up. Since he's he he has titled the property, he can put whatever price he wants on it. Or he could be including all his inventory junk and shit that he got from the auction and the dump as part of the deal. <laughs> mm, it doesn't say that on there, though. I do think... I Where's he going to go I with that? I do think that... I think that he believes 
seventy thousand is a reasonable price, though. Yeah, Agreed. He's, not, he's not very good at market research, Lorne, is he? If you remember with the Beanie Babies thing, which was fucking hilarious, you know, he put the price on it because someone else on eBay put the price, right. but didn't check that it had actually fucking sold. So yeah, he's, he he's... Told... well, none of that. The realtor would have told him, "Look, I can't list this for that, or, or that we're, we're never going to well, sell it." Yeah, it that's they got to advise him. That's what's confusing because why? Why have they put it on for that price? It's never gonna. It's never gonna sell. Yeah, I, I don't think he wants to. I think he's doing. It. This is my theory. I think he's doing it against his will. Um, at some point, he's going to have to. But also but, at the same time, let's consider all his debts that he has. He's got all these reservation debts. He's got these credit card debts. He, he can't. He can't file for bankruptcy. Some of these places are exempt from bankruptcy. He's so stupid, uh, yeah. and they could take over his place. They get. They probably sent him foreclosure notices, or 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 started collection litigation against him, and attached his house or whatever that fucking thing is, you know. And and he could be saying, well, you know what, I'm going to sell it out from under him. And again, it's a fraudulent transaction. But if he is able to sell it and pay anybody else off, that's great. Hmm. Uh, Who do you think would be forcing him to sell, other than um, like? Debt collectors. Oh, I think if he's I think doing the, it against the his will, the town. Yeah. Yeah, the town. Or his neighbors yeah. could be making complaints, you know. You know, especially when he put out all those, all those sheets. Oh my god. Yeah, the tarps. So yeah, the tarps. Just they. Oh man, there's nothing good about do, this property. Do you know what nothing. I'm thinking? Whether it's just a coincidence that this went up for sale not long after the yard sale when he put the tarps up and there was all that business mm-hmm. about... Because he mm-hmm. must have... I think word had have got to him that all these people were flooding the Facebook page with uh, stupid comments. I mean, this is just a theory, but... I don't know. I just think the time is a bit strange. Um, no, it could be... Be, listen, we've got the thing is we've got no intelligence to act on it unless there's somebody out there that's keeping things to themselves. It could be a potential catfish or something like that. But we've got nothing to go off. Can we be certain that it's a genuine? So it has been put forward that potentially somebody's listed that property as a prank, which I would think is hard to do because I don't not I don't know if we could if you could get away with that if they've turned up and took taken a photograph and. Do you understand what I mean? Would they have to go and meet the person who's selling it? Because when I put my properties on the market previously, the estate agent will come round to visit me at the property and then, you know, unless you fucking broke in and try and sell it, then do you understand what I'm getting at? Because we have to consider that possibility, don't we? I don't think it's a listing as a prank. No. This has no. Lauren written all over it. You know yeah, what I mean? And, and I, yeah, parts, the stupid price. I mean, they, yeah, and they, they wouldn't be able to sell it either. No. No, no. Um, well, no, they wouldn't be able to sell it, but they'd be able to list it if somebody, it. you know. And don't, don't. I think there's one thing that we can all agree on, right? There is no limits to the ludicrousy of what Lawn's followers or us lot. I'll put myself in the same category as everybody. There's no, there's no limit to what people will do to prank Lawn. Do you understand? What I, even something that doesn't necessarily make sense. Because it's like, what we, what are you going to get out of it? With the catfishing, there's a lot to get out of it. And, you know, silly phone calls, pranks, things like that. Sending him stupid things in the mail. I'm just saying it's a possibility. Because, I don't know, there's like... <sighs> Why is it vacant? If that's true... Well, hang, hang on a second. So, even though I don't like to um, say anything that Blue Boy says, because it's a bunch of shit, but... <laughs> he does say here the disclosures disclosures have Lauren's signature on them. Right. Mm-hmm. So obviously that that's going to be him. Right. But as far as it being vacant, I can also see Lauren saying that it's vacant, but it actually isn't. Well, look at that place. <laughs> that's what we originally thought. That was, I think it might have been you that said that, Shin. I think you are a manager. I can't remember, but someone suggested that. That's bullshit. Um, that he is there. He's just saying that to try and make it sell quicker. Because it's like, if, if, if nobody's vacant, they can buy it straight away. But they're also going to want to view it, aren't they? Nobody's going to buy 
a property without viewing it to some extent. And if he's not living there, they're going to know that. Or if he, sorry, if he is living there, more to the point. I guess that is the question. Uh, is he lying when he says when to his realtor by saying it's unoccupied? But he he did say well, for three years too. Right, he lied he about that it part. said yeah. for three years, and we know that's not true. I think it's just because it's a shithole, and he probably didn't want to say that he was living there. <laughs> I mean, like he's in bed. Oh, no, he yeah. No, he, not that he was living there, that he did all the work on it. You know, <laughs> <laughs> right. That's so he, he's the owner. He's the owner. Um, but someone's yeah, there, sorry to interrupt. Someone's just said uh, Celestial Null has just said it's no longer listed as vacant. Oh, okay. Shall I, shall I bring, can somebody bring up the advertisement? I don't know how to find it. Uh, in fact, I can look through my history, can't I? Give me a second. Let me, because um, strangely enough, yeah, I was I, only on there last night. No, I wasn't really, but. Um, NCAA, I agree with you. I think he 100% lied uh, as an excuse for the condition. It, you know, he he didn't want people to think, he didn't are. want people to buy it thinking, thinking that uh, somebody was working on it when it looks like somebody it's been uh, neglected for years. Exactly. Yeah. Neglected. Right. Okay. I've just brought it up now. Price status, active type, single family added 12 days ago. I'm just looking for the bit where it would say, um, where would it, where, which section does it say whether it's occupied or not? Is it not? Is it not status active? Does that not mean somebody's in there? No, that just means it's an active listing. That means the listing is active. Right. Well, it wouldn't be there if it was right. Um, I can't. Right. Let me just go through it bit by bit. Bathrooms, total bedrooms, parking location, heating and cooling, structural information, lot features. Zero point two five acres. Hasn't that gone down? Hasn't that changed from last time? Or am I? No, I, think, I, think I think you so. said quarter of an acre. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Okay. Public. Right. I I think I think it has actually disappeared the vacant part because there's no section to state that it is. I can't see anything that says it's vacant. There, I I believe it only said it was vacant on on a certain listing. I think. Um, there were listings on a few different sites and only one of them said that it had been vacant for three years. Right. Okay. I don't know which one though. <laughs> also, I, th I think that um, a lot of people have been contacting the realtor and they have just been point pointing out that issue. Is How can it be vacant when he's been there for a long time? And if you need proof of that, look at the uh, sex offender registry uh, to see mm -hmm. where, where he's living okay. now. You know? And I think that he got caught in that lie with the realtor and the realtor had to change it because the realtor doesn't want to uh, misrepresent things either. Sure. Now they got to check everything he, Lauren says about the property. <laughs> he's flagged as a liar. Yeah, he's a flagged as a liar. And I think somebody wrote in a comment uh, that, uh, yeah, that they notified, oh, oh, the realtor had disclosed to whoever they called that a sex offender live there. I, I, I think we mentioned this last time, right? If he's like not working at the minute, let's say he's struggling for work, he's got no money, which of course we know he hasn't. He's not only is he broke, he owes thousands and thousands. Wouldn't a good move for somebody in that position to be go and live with family and pocket the money that you get from the sale, and then you've got something then, haven't you? you Maybe Because the thing is, he's always got some kind of crazy scheme going on, like, I'm going to start some new business, I'm going to do this, that, and the other. Maybe it's just something as simple as that. Uh, well, who would he live with? Where would well, he go? Well, his mum. Where's Roy living? He can't live with his mum. Oh, right. He can't. Why? She's getting Section 8 vouchers. She's in Section 8. Yeah. She's in Section 8 housing, which is like low-income housing. Right. Uh, subsidized. So he he's not allowed to live there. Well, yeah, but if he got like money, said... he could rent somewhere and then have that money. And, of course, Lorne would think, oh, it's fine. I'll make loads of money, you know. Singing. <laughs> or something. <laughs> Writing songs. Singing. 
Oh my god! Yeah. Oh, real quick, uh, Zebron asked, "Is it illegal for Lauren to lie like this to the real? Well, it's fraud. You know, essentially, you lie about your property, and somebody buys it uh, after you misrepresented something. Sure. And well, wouldn't I don't probation think... need to be? Sorry. Oh no, go ahead. Sorry, I cut you off. No, no, it just says, "Wouldn't probation need to be aware? Probation is so aware of everything this fucker does, everything, and they don't do anything." You know, he shouldn't be getting credit cards. He sh anytime, if you look at his original probation um, uh, conditions, for its general conditions, he can't even open up credit lines without their permission. He's got he's to disclose everything to these guys. And he's gotten away with so much. I doubt that this is going to even be a blip on their radar. Yeah. Well, the thing is, we, we anticipate, when we, when we think about probation, we think that they're going to look at him with the enthusiasm that we do because we'd want to know everything. We'd want to know what color underpants he's got on. We'd want to know where he is at every exact moment, what he's up to. We'd fuck him over for every little thing that he does wrong. But, of course, he's just another person to them. I think they will see him as more outlandish. But, like, they'll, have the, they'll, they'll be so busy... Do you understand what I mean? It's just another blip on the radar for them, isn't it? So where we were seeing that no one's lived there um, actually comes from a conversation that someone had with the realtor. Ah. Um, so they called for more info. So it's on, right. I, I think right. I posted that on the last video actually as a comment. Um, it's on uh, the most worst channel. And it says that uh, the trailer's 50 years old. Part of the trailer has no roof. No kidding. <laughs> the owner the owner says no one's lived there. Um, there's a question as to who owns. I can't see the whole thing because it's blown up a little bit. Um, it, they're Go firm on. on the price. Mm -hmm. Yeah. The and firm. also the interior. Wow. They're firm on the, on the amount. So they're not going down at all. The interior has two quote unquote rooms. <laughs> No interior picks because of safety. I mean, that's a reasonable statement. So like we were saying before, it's completely reasonable that Lorne is going to say that he he came to visit his property or something. I was like, holy shit, what happened here? <laughs> I haven't been here. No one's been living here. And look what happened to this place. What a shame. And if you look at his property right now, I don't think that would last a winter. One more winter. He has to sell it now, in a sense. I don't know how that roof wouldn't collapse with with snow and how they wouldn't freeze. And I also found I found it interesting that um, where it talks about in the listing the appliances that are be going to be included in the deal. It only oh, talks about the wa it only talks about the water heater and the propane heating system. In other words. He's gonna he's gonna rip out the he's stove, gonna rip out everything. Rip out the refrigerator, yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, when he left that one property, he took away the mailbox because they can That's get their right. own tax doctor, I think. <laughs> <That's right. laughs> so that George doesn't surprise me at all. <laughs> he doesn't That's know what funny. a fixture is. <laughs> but uh, I don't know. There is also. Again, we can go anywhere we want with this with these theories, but um, there's also the possibility that probation may, might have told him to uh, to get his affairs in order. You know, he's got no he's hit no progress. I mean, kind of a Dustin McFetridge situation uh, mm -hmm. where Dustin has the same problem with his um, grape class. Uh, Lauren <laughs> Lauren's got kicked out of it before. I mean, he's this is going on at what. 12 years now in class, 11 yeah. years. Uh, they could have said, you know, uh, you know, you're not good on your own. Right? We're going to have to put, maybe we'll put you in some facility or something. Uh, I don't know. I don't think I, so. I don't think they I would tell so, him though. that. Oh, that would be fine. But I don't think they would tell him that. I've always said Lorne needs a guardian for his affairs. I, I've always said that he can't, look what he does with his money. Look what he does with his property. He's, he's incompetent. He can't handle his own affairs. He needs a guardian at Leadham uh, appointed to handle his I money. Don't, well, I, I mean, I don't think that the court would find him to be incompetent just because 
he has a home that looks like this. Oh, I don't know. And I don't he know. makes really stupid, he makes stupid decisions, but also I think, and I haven't been to any of these types of hearings. I don't know what it takes for that. You would certainly know more, but it feels to me like the standard for incompetence would be a lot higher. Well, they've got a lot of evidence and it, and not just in the form of what he, what his actions are, but tens of thousands of hours of phone calls. He's, he's in his own deluded world. He doesn't, he can't separate reality, you know, from fantasy. You know, he's got a lot of issues like that. But I think that, that, that a lot of the people to deal with will be just as delusional as, uh, delusional as long, but in different ways. I know that's hard to imagine. And I was going to do a video on this at some point, and I think we will because it'd be interesting to talk about. But it's <laughs> only it's only because it's it's like exaggerated in a cartoon like way because of the catfishing. You know what I mean? It's like we just see this crazy play, which of course it is. Do you understand what I'm getting at? It's, I don't think he's as that. <laughs> it sounds ridiculous to say it after all this shit. It's like that video with Darth Vader and. Will and the robot, and it's like lawns on one side. I just imagine probation seeing that clip. Go, what the fuck is this guy up to? Oh, I know. Uh, it's that just it, but thinking. but I still I still maintain my original um point, which was is you know the line of delusion and reality for a lot of people is pretty fucking blurry. If you get what I mean, so I don't I don't think he's as outlandish as what we think he is compared to the other guys. I know some people are probably disappointed. I don't know. I, I think he crawls up to that line of of destructiveness, you know, being a danger to himself. I think, yeah, yeah, but think about the people that they'll be dealing with. People that have been in prison all of their life. Any... People who live in, literally live in prison. Like, they get out, they're outside for a few months, and then they just blow it. Lon has spent most of his life outside, not inside. What do you mean? In, oh, in, outside. In prison, prison. Yeah, There's I, some I people that, that, yeah, that yeah. are in and out. You know, dude, you've been a fucking, you know, you know better yeah, than anyone. Yeah, but, but, you know, I, I, he's just a whirlwind of disaster, you know? Yeah, he is. Unnecessarily, you know? We Everything see it played out, and we, 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 I think it's because he's so immature, and everything that we know about him is out there we analyze it to the degree that we do and we just see how ridiculous it is but nobody nobody's had the ex no no characters like him have had his kind of exposure apart from and i was gonna say chris chan then but that's not even a comparison because he's not really a crit well actually he did do some but he wasn't yeah. known originally for criminal acts long was known yeah. famously because of the To Catch a Predator show. And that's why his responses to the comments in his videos are so funny. It's like mm -hmm. what Judge Woodcock said. It's like, dude, what are you doing? It's a total lack of... But anyway, we'll talk about that another time. I, can I say <laughs> one more thing? To add to the, uh, to the lack of progress with, uh, with his grade class, I think that... Um, you know, another variable that we kind of overlook is that DD87 that Blue Boy was able to get him to, to pay for. Mm -hmm. That report is damning to him. So which one and is that? That's the, the latest. Oh, the one that, the one that we went over. Yeah, I mean, if you compile these mm -hmm. all together, you know, he could be a, considered a danger to others and himself, especially if you just look at where he lives and what he did to it. Just compare, just put the house or the trailer and comp uh, compare that four or five years ago to what it looks like today. Who wouldn't believe that somebody like that is trying to kill themselves? Well, you can't. The thing is, we know Lon's danger to himself and others. But like, let's put it into perspective. Let's look at. I know, like, you know, just bear with me while I say this because it might seem a bit extreme. But you know, Daryl Brooks, the guy that mowed down all those people, and I don't wish to go overboard and 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 talk about that because it's a very you know a lot of people. But he, he was criminally insane. That guy was out. He was inside prison for a long... He committed rafts of offences, and they had to release him. You, you, you know, there's, these people are, are, are let on a tight leash, but unfortunately, the way it is, I wish things were different, but these people are living in a free society, and if they decide to... They've got the ability to, to 
to do what they're doing. Lawn in the in the in the grand scheme of things is relatively harmless in that he doesn't have the means to to do the kind of harm that he would do. My biggest sort of uh, and I'm sure most people will agree with this. The the more dangerous aspect of Lawn is his predatory um, nature. But like, so let's take the Walmart um, situation as an example. He goes to them girls, and he says, "Do you want to make some money?" He's too stupid to understand what he's saying. He's doing it because he's interested in them girls. He's doing it because he's behaving like a predator. But those girls, he's not good looking. He's not charming. He he looks a mess. He's not gonna. He's not a danger to those people. Is it? You know. So who who is he a danger to? To himself. Well, that's his problem, isn't it? Fucking. Well, that's still that's it. still a reason to to find him incompetent and appoint. That's the main reason to appoint a guardian. If he was a danger to others. They just lock him up. Well, but, not always. I mean, probation. Probation lets them get away with everything. They all the times he's been driving drunk. Um, all the catfish that he would talk to, where they told him the danger, Lauren, is that you don't know if these people are of age and you're sending them nude photos, even though it goes against your probation. He's violated over and over again, and they do nothing. In fact, the, he broke the rules of rape class and brought his phone in there and let a, a catfish listen and their solution to the problem was to take him out of the class and give him individual counseling, which is what he wanted to begin with. He hated that class. With a woman. Right, with a woman who he yeah. loves. Yeah. He loves that counselor because she's gentle and motherly. And, and she says, oh, poor Lauren, you need to reparent yourself. You had some really bad things happen to you when you were a kid. She gives him exactly what he wants. Instead of having to sit in a class full of other men who did the same thing that he tried to do with a male teacher who would hold him accountable and not accept his excuses. They gave him what he wanted instead of giving him a punishment. So I, I don't know what probation could do. I mean, I guess they could do anything. If they well, go to well, a judge and say, this guy needs to be locked up, the judge is probably going to agree with them. But for some reason, they don't seem to think he is much of a danger. Well, that's what I'm saying. I mean, can you imagine how thick Lauren's file, probation file is? But that's, exa that's exactly <laughs> why. I love to see that. Oh, my yeah. God. They can, actually, they can actually go to the What's judge that? and say, we've tried everything. <laughs> we've tried everything. And they have. We've allowed him to have so much slack. We have not surrendered him on these things, these things. But right now, it's. have you seen his place, Your Honor? Have you seen where he lives right now? Have you seen the new DD-87? Have you, have you heard these phone calls? You know, enough is enough. It could get to that point, I think. Well, it's like Roy. Roy is kind of similar without the 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 sex offenses. He, yeah, just that little thing, right? <laughs> he's Right. But uh, Roy was on probation for drunk driving. Um, Roy's like homeless, living in a camper, drunk all the time, a, a severe alcoholic. He gets catfish. And when he was on probation, they didn't deem him, um, you know, unable to care for himself. I think, And I would argue that Roy is. No, Roy is a lot more himself. competent than Roy. Again, the bar is pretty low. But in my view, Roy is a hell of a lot more competent than Lauren is. Lauren is totally deluded. Roy doesn't have delusions like that. He's just a drunk. Uh, you know, he's got a substance abuse issue. Millions of other people do. No one's like Lauren. No one. We will have a stream just on his level of delusion. Um, actually, I think he, what I was going to do is talk about how dumb he is. Just d d going over his intelligence or lack thereof. How dare you? Um, <laughs> and, you're, and you're contractually obliged to join us, Tiffany Lockhart. You heard it here, guys. If she doesn't turn up yep. on it, I want you to bombard her with messages not of a specifically unpleasant nature, but there you go. Um, <laughs> I just wanted to make sure I'm not that anybody would because they, look, they like you too much for some fucking reason, but um, I fucking lost my train of thought. Can't run with it, Shin. I kind of lost me where I was going with that. Then uh, we were talking about uh, his competency. penis. Yes, his penis. That should get him <laughs> locked up right there. 
<laughs> well, it's been, I mean, to be honest, he's committed a lot of offences with that thing, hasn't he? He's got him into a lot. He has. He's got him into so much trouble and he's never even used it. <laughs> It has, it has caused, it's, it's really caused, I mean, of course we don't necessarily know what he's feeling, you know, cause we're not, we're not in his head. Thank God. Everybody just thank God right now that yeah. you're not I'm saying born. thank God I too. <laughs> we, we say it all the time, but could you imagine looking through his eyes, being inside the way that you look through your own, but except you're Lorne. That yeah. would be the worst. Well, actually, it's it's Rosie. Uh, he looks at the world with you know. Yeah, rose I was glass. just gonna say, yeah, would it be the worst though? Because he he doesn't really get down. I'm sure that there is moments where he's not happy, but he doesn't get depressive. He doesn't. Um, no. He's quite a positive person. I don't want to say yeah. something no. positive because mm-hmm. Amanda James is going to shoot me down no. immediately if I say something positive about. Lord. I'm going to half agree. <gasps> what? Ooh, I, half. <laughs> I half agree. I uh, agree. He does try to turn things into a positive, but that's part of his delusion. It's because he's extra stupid. It's like when he'll, <laughs> I, we've heard him so many times, he'll have a fight with the cat. Extra stupid. A terrible right. fight. He's extra stupid. Yeah. They'll fight about something. She'll call him a pedophile. She'll, you know, say all these horrible things. She, she's cheating on him, blah, blah, blah. And then at the end of it, he'll say, that fight we had, honey, that helped, that didn't hurt us. That helped us. Yeah, he said, I'm glad we went through that. Con- yes, it, it brought us closer. After horrible fights with Casey, mm-hmm. or horrible conversations, not fights, just horrible conversations with her, he'll say, well, so what? We're talking. At least we're talking. Is it, yeah. is it a good thing if you're talking and she's telling you you're say, disgusting? No, he won't say it like that. He'll say, look at us. Look what we're doing. Yeah, next year to fill in the pieces. Look, I, I drew you a dozen roses. Oh, Everything's okay now. <laughs> yeah, he is extremely. You're right, Andrew. I, I I agree with that. He he refuses to see the world, uh, uh, his world the way it actually is, and and his positive attitude is what keeps this thing going. I think, um, but at the same time, uh, it's never his fault. So. You know, he'll always he has a lot to say about others who created these these bad times for him. You know, that's that's what he does. That's how I'm, he copes. I'm going to mention something as well, which may be another positive. So Amanda James is probably not going to agree with me on this. I've noticed in some of the later, I've been listening to a lot of the robot stuff, and there's moments where he takes responsibility. Now it's very it's not full responsibility because. To be honest, not that many people do, but like he'll say, "Yeah, I'm insecure. I'm trying to deal with it." Because he's always in that relationship. He's always oh. on the back foot entirely. He's in a knowing situation. He's always getting bullied, cheated on, treated like shit. He's never gonna let it go. And there are occasions because he has moments where he goes, "I'm not putting up with this shit." And at that point, he realizes, "I'm fucked here." You know, he's like, right, I can't do anything with this. He'll put the phone down, but of course he always picks it back up. But I've, I, it occurred to me the other day, I was like listening, and I can't remember the call or the exact scenario, what was going on, but he was like, I've admitted, I've got insecurities about who you're talking to, I'm working with it, and then he'll say, yeah, that was my fault, but why, why do Why, though? No. No, that's well, how I, he I, does I just... that. He says why, you're making why me insecure. Does he have, right. Why does he have insecurity? They're not. Yeah, he his blames own. them for the insecurity. Right. But what I yeah. will say is, I agree with him. If I had a partner, I mean, this would never happen, but let me just put myself in this quantum leap parallel universe. If I had a partner who had a dildo, I'm going to have to whisper in case the neighbors hear me. If I had a dildo, the shade. If I had a if dildo, you had my a dildo. partner, <laughs> if I had one, there'd be big problems, wouldn't there? But if my partner. My dildo? If, I had, <laughs> if I had a dildo, the shape of Lon's cock. In fact, I'd actually want one. Maybe I can market that. But um, oh, if I if my partner had a dildo that was in the shape of the ex's cock, I would entirely fucking blame that on my ex. It's like you've made me insecure. No, no person would put yeah, up with yeah. that. Do you get yeah. what I'm saying? Right, we can't you blame him yeah, for, that? for throwing that back <laughs> on us. How would typical you cry is that scenario? And scream, or would you say, 
enjoy your your dildo. I'm out of here. <laughs> like any reasonable person. Of course. Exactly. You're going to cry over of course, it? Of course, but we all know Lauren, and that's it. Lauren cannot let go of these situations, can he? The fucking dildo. <laughs> well, that's part of his passion. That's you part got a statue of, of his cock. <laughs> Sorry. It's right. It keeps him alive. He's got to really be pissed off at guys, other guys, somehow. That's That's what keeps him alive, I think. That kind of that kind of conflict that he's always created in his head, and the and the and the, uh, the catfish too. Speaking of catfish, I think, you know, we we've, we've gone through this for years, guys, and you know where we think it's kind of the end, uh, you know, end of the line for for Lauren stuff. Uh, that is that there's no other catfish, uh, catfishing him now. I don't think he's being catfish now. I I think, I think we kind of know shit right now. But then again, you never know. I'm looking for people in the community I haven't seen in a while who who could end up being actively <laughs> catfishing him now, you know? Um, like when Reborn or whoever was catfishing before, they were out of the community so much because they were busy with this 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 idiot. Um, so I, I don't know who's missing now in the in the in the uh, in the community. All you, right, you make know? a list. We've got to make a yeah. list. Everybody in the chat. Yep. Who I'm haven't you seen in a while, that. guys? Maybe Adam. He's always up to something, isn't he? Oh yeah. And he's I very good at he's very good at his comedy impressions as well. He's probably uh, made up some character and put a you know got a voice changer. Or probably not even a voice changer. That's my. Bad. You wouldn't give the time of day to a guy, man. <laughs> um, Could you imagine if if he were to sell this, okay, in an alternate universe? Because we know it's it's not going to go anywhere, but if he did, and then they were going through the property and he forgot that Lamondre was there. Yes. <laughs> and they came across yeah. it. Sorry. What's Lamondre? Um, it's the oh, that's another dildo. dildo that he has. Is it the one that, that was in the photograph large. where he's, he's like licking it in the photo? Yes. Yeah. What was, yeah. It, yeah. what, he's right. Called... How did that come to be? that thing in his prop what's what's the deal it was with that? sent to him it lamandre was sent to him by jamie's friend or roommate or whatever they they sent him lamandre and then after they broke up um he so jamie and lauren broke up for like six months and they didn't speak to each other at all and then when jamie recontacted him he told her you can see in the in the video call uh the zoom call that he kept lamandre and he said he kept lamandre in case him and jamie ever ever hooked back up he was gonna keep it but i think he kept lamandre in case he ever got a new girlfriend and then he could right. use this his ex-girlfriend's dildo on a new fucking girlfriend and that is the funniest thing in the world he to said me, that imagine going to Imagine going to some dude's house. You just you well. Let's forget the trailer. Let's forget Lauren. Let's pretend it's like a normal guy, and you go to his house for the first time, and he pulls out a giant <laughs> dildo. And your first thought is, why do you have that? Right. What are you doing with that? Can you imagine What's if they knew you? the truth, it'd be scarier than the mystery. And, well, then he, he actually said, no, no, said no, that. It's he... not mine. It's not mine. It's my ex girlfriend. Oh, even better. And like any woman's gonna be like, yeah, let's go. I can't wait. That's, that's my dream come true. Who wants a used fucking dildo? He, he the type of woman. Uh, yeah. Sorry. The type of woman no, no, no. would be with Lauren. He, he threatened the robot the exact same thing. I'm going to go out and get a girl and use Lamondre on it. <laughs> he actually said that. Yeah. Yeah. Without realizing how creepy that would be to go yeah, home to the man like and you, he pulls you, out a dildo. It's, all, it's like something an impotent man would do, right? I would assume. Well, my first thought would be that it is his, that he uses it, it keeps for his personal use. Gross. <laughs> <laughs> Why else would a single man have a dildo in his home? <laughs> Wes said something funny the other day. Um, we were talking, you, you guys mentioned uh, alternate universes. I think Tiffany said that. Um, where you, there could be billions of, of Lorns, uh, you know, on different paths uh, everywhere, you know, different decisions he makes result in different outcomes and whatever. I think that <laughs> Wes said that every one of his worlds is alternate worlds. Lauren still goes to the sting house. <laughs> <laughs> That's brilliant. 
<laughs> and then everyone is a virgin. Every single fucking one. <laughs> Has anybody seen the latest Beavis and Butthead movie? Beavis and Butthead do, yeah. un- do, do the universe. It's really funny because there's like a similar scenario in that where there's like all these different Beavises and only one Beavis out of an infinite amount has got laid. It's, it's yeah. that'd be like long. <laughs> yes. All right. Oh my God. That's really funny. I don't know if you guys said this about LaMondre um, when we were just talking because I was reading the chat. I can't do two, two things at once. But do you know that that dildo was covered in stuff? Oh, oh yeah. do we want to right? Hang on a minute, hang on. And do we want to know what it was covered put it in? in his mouth? Yeah, I can what tell you. What was it covered in? Go on. It was Greek yogurt. No, it wasn't <laughs> coated. You know what I'm saying? It was just kind of marinated and marinated. Greek yogurt, tuna juice, Parmesan cheese, and it was. I think it may have been in the trash. There was tuna juice in it too. I think. There was, yeah, there was tuna juice, and then um, it was in a it like it was packaged up and left in a hot car for right. maybe a couple of days or something, and then it was sent over. And he stuck that thing in his mouth, yeah, and licked yeah. it, and it was like <laughs> I don't know if he was like mm, even like no no he didn't go mm, like he you. went yeah. Oh, we did. Oh, yeah. God. Yeah. yeah. Even oh, yeah. if it that's best case scenario, honestly, to uh-huh. be covered in food items and and even put in the trash. What's worse, putting something in your mouth with tuna tuna juice and Parmesan cheese and gross stuff, or a dildo that has been inside a, a woman, and then this is it's not like immediate. It went from her to his mouth. It's been sitting out. It's just has bodily fluids left on it from weeks or months ago. Does... Or it could have been in a guy's ass, too. Who sent it to him? <laughs> Jamie. Oh, so, she, yeah, yeah, it could Jamie have easily been in a guy's star. ass, right? Yeah, or in her ass. You want to yeah. put that in your mouth? Uh, he would. Yeah. I know. That's yeah. Disgusting. And he wants to mm, lick off dried like, oh. body fluids and God <laughs> only bad. knows what. Yeah. And after he's been fucked with so many times, he still he still <laughs> put it in his mouth. Imagine probation when they see that thumbnail. <laughs> do you want to do you want to uh, do you want to check out the screen, guys? I've put it on the uh, on the video. Um, oh, the it. Lamandre picture. Yeah, I can't see. Oh, you did. How can, yeah, I can't has, see has Lauren ever seen, seen this? It. On YouTube, has Lauren ever seen this thumbnail? Um, no, no. I, I believe He's so he, somebody like wrote him a letter and mentioned Lamandre, um, and oh, I can't remember. I think it was um, because Winnie knew about it. Lamandre came at the time when Winnie was still in the picture, I believe. So Lauren knows that it's that it's out i don't know if he has actually seen it on youtube i hope so because oh, he found great. a wine lover stream at one point <laughs> um and w- listened to the stream watched the stream and then confronted jamie and casey about it um so maybe maybe that was her thumbnail i don't know why would he lick it because it's like a, he's very homophobic lord isn't he and he's engaging in like a pretty <laughs> Radical. That's what Winnie uh, said. That, right. Winnie said that is really gay, and he said, "No, no, no I, I put." He didn't. <laughs> it's really just like gay. when he said he would pull out the the dildo for his new girlfriend. He doesn't realize that makes him look gay. <laughs> he putting a dildo in his mouth makes him look gay, but he he's just thinking, "Oh, it was, you know, it touched a woman." So exactly. Right. Not gay. The fact that it was, was in her vagina, you know, that's what he was yeah. tasting. Right. It didn't matter that it was a big black dick, but it was just his her vagina that he was tasting. But it is so funny though <laughs> that he didn't. Extra stupid. He was too stupid to realize that licking um, um, a figurine oh of a God. male appendage may make him look slightly homosexual when he's like a proper, he's proper like you know he's been he gives homophobic us in his calls. Photoshop. I know he's. Crazy. Mike's got Mike. 
read what Mike said. Someone put that pick on a Church of Cod sign, and the sign was nailed to the light pole in court. Oh, jeez. Oh, my God, if I saw that. Wait, did they? Sell my land. Yeah. Did they do that? That's, or, what, I, oh, that's what they're saying. That's great. I, well, I don't know yeah. if if they did. They said someone. No one but I will that. say... I'd rather not have these types of pictures put in public, not for Lauren's purpose, but for other people. Which pictures? The one that's in the game. The this thing. Well, put aside the fact that they got <laughs> that you you would do something like that, and if it got out publicly, it would be the most embarrassing thing to ha ever happen to you. Let's assume that that wasn't even in the picture. Why would he send that to a girl that he wants? It looks like you're right. He it looks like he's it's sexy. He does. He's got a weird idea about that. Yeah. We've talked about this before. Please. He has this very strange idea of what is sexy for a man when he does the, the he does these very like feminine poses that I think he believes would be sexy if a woman did it. Therefore, it's sexy when he does it. Like bending over and showing his asshole. Mm -mm. Oh, that, that yeah. picture should go up on the front of time. Yeah. Or his kissy faces. He's always doing kissy faces in pictures, and that's a very girly, feminine thing to do that he thinks is attractive. Well, it's possible, too, that he doesn't know what to do in a picture. Like... Well, he can't smile. Well, he can't that smile. picture exactly. of him showing his ass to Kayla would verify that theory that he doesn't know what to do yes. in photos. The one where he's looking at the camera. He's got, his, like, his finger in his mouth. He's going... Mm. Yeah, yeah, he doesn't. Right? Does very, he? I know, but I mean, he might as well. You know what I mean? I don't think he, he does. No, he doesn't. Enough. But for some but reason, it, that's the image I've got him in mind. Yeah, a very feminine, like looking over your shoulder. Look at look at my bum here. It's a it's a girly this, pose. This is what a guy looks <laughs> like. <laughs> oh, right. Well, it's, it, it's funny because there's there's another picture too, and I haven't seen it in a long time. So I may be describing it incorrectly, but I think he's sitting in that chair in his kitchen and he's got his feet up almost like in a frog position. You know, you put your feet together. And the way he's sitting, it's almost like he's like presenting his ass, you know? Oh. Do you know what I'm talking Wait, about? Tequila? He's sitting. I think so. He's sitting in a chair and he's got his, his knees like bent out and his feet kind of touching like, yes. like a like a diamond shape. Yes. Is he wearing a robe but it's yes. open and in his yes. prison crocs? Oh yeah, I know. I know the one. Yeah. Of course you do. It's, <laughs> it's like wow. I, like his, I, I mean it's, uh, it's such a I like his uh, his Jesus Christ pose with just standing there naked. You know, just with his hands up. That, that's a good one. But my favorite is his, his looking over his shoulder. Yeah, I, I'm trying to find it now. I fucking love that photo. I'm going to have to put it in the special. I think that's, one the hell? that's my favorite one, too. I think it's so funny. Holy shit. It one just... that always comes to my mind. You don't even get the full the full view of him. Or what, what, I've seen it on YouTube, so it's, it's cropped. But he, it's a video, not a picture. He's taking a video for Winnie. And he is about to get in the shower. Oh, he does get in the shower. And he said, I'm sorry you're feeling bad today, baby. I'm going to show you me getting in the shower so you can feel like you're here with me. And he backs up in front, like, to get his full body in frame and takes uh, his clothes off, like, slowly. And he's all sunburnt. His head is shaved completely bald. <laughs> I wonder if you guys know what I'm talking about. He's got the craziest farmer tan. He's fat. He looks really <laughs> oh, fat. Oh, wow. Video. Lay easy on him. Jesus. <laughs> Is that when he was washing his toes? You see that one? Probably. He got in the after he like slowly took his clothes off. And I think he took like his shorts off before his sneakers, which was really weird. Um, oh, that's right. <laughs> he's all sunburned and fat and gross looking. And he... Films himself in the shower for Winnie to make her feel better. What uh, is the? Have a look at the picture now on the screen. Is this the one that we're talking about? Have a look at the picture on the screen. The one that oh, you must have changed it. I can't yeah. see it on on Skype. I don't see it either. 
No, it's not on Skype. It's on Thingy. Oh, it's on the I just screen. The one where, on, on okay, I didn't know if you changed it. So the one where he, yeah, where he's talking to Keelan, oh. he's turned around. No, we're talking about different pictures. Oh, no, but I'm saying, is this the picture that is everybody's favorite where he's like, the, the oh, picture yeah. that's on the screen? No. It is. It is my, I, it's my favorite because I don't understand why he did that. Is the, what is it he says in the chat that's so funny? Is it doesn't he just randomly come out with it in the middle of nowhere? It's like a um something from the room. So how was your sex life? It like came out of nowhere. Want to see my butt or something? Isn't it? Is, is that right? My butt. <laughs> it's, it's like when he would constantly say, "Be right back. Got to get coffee." And he's completely naked, and he would do right. it constantly. And then he'd come back and say. You like it when I get up for coffee, don't you? And Kayla's like, um, I don't know why. Because you get to see my butt. You get to see me <laughs> naked walk around. Yeah, I, 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 pick... I, I, would I wish love... we had that, that footage. Yeah, oh, I, I right. Would... Yes, I agree. It, I would love to hear somebody describe that picture to a blind person. <laughs> <laughs> Well, they would, they would never, us? that person, no matter how disadvantaged in the sight department they are, would not believe anybody if that was described. Well, what no. would you say? I, I think the person describing it would be uh, envious of that person's disability at that point. <laughs> yeah. Jeez. Um, right, <laughs> we're going to have to wrap it up. Um, just very quickly, don't we have access to a probation report? But weren't we unsure whether we could show it or not? Oh, I'm sure there's something. Or have I said something I shouldn't have done? I don't know what you mean. Is that just report? Some kind you of probation. About blue boys? Well, I can't remember. Have we done it before? Am I getting mixed up with what we've done? The no, pre-sentencing report? No, there was a, a, a report that's been written by probation about him. About his no, life. DD-87. That, that's the one Blue Boy got. Where he actually got... An outside, he spent twenty five hundred dollars to get an outside but approved counselor to evaluate him. Are you no, talking about that one? That's the site report, isn't it? Right, yeah. isn't that what you're talking? No, okay, no, there's a probation okay. report, probation mm. ro like probation scribblings about him. I've seen it. Right, we'll talk about. The it. The one I know is the pre sentencing report, and I thought we did that well we also read the uh the 2000 september 15 2015 i can't believe i know these fucking dates a report where they visited his house and uh uh where he was uh stalking uh what's her name that might uh, be it were oh uh, Nikki. it's mentioned yeah, it, what does it say now in this he got all indignant because they they were getting up in his business <laughs> he doesn't realize he has no rights anymore but uh yeah, they were. He was talking. They went over his. They went in, into his phone. They found the uh, uh, the uh, Nikki's number under Mom N or something, and then yes. and then he talked about his diatribe. I mean, you could imagine everything that the that the report was saying. That's the only report I've seen. Well, the, yeah, the one thing. Said, oh, go ahead. Oh, I was just. I'm, we all know the report, but he yeah. he he said. Um, he only texted her 37 times or whatever because there was a car accident in Bar Harbor and a black car. And Nikki, he thinks she knew somebody with a black car. So yeah. he was just worried about her. But yeah. he also, he says in a later call that he was he was texting her because she owed him money. Mm -hmm. so yeah, he probably because about, well, he was she wasn't answering. Yeah, so well, then that's a little more rational, out. though. You know, he learned something. He was able, he was able to learn. This, I'll have to have a good this think property. about that. I think it might be where he NC eighty seven has just said, "Is she aware of this relationship?" I think that might have been in the site report. That is the one. Mm -hmm. No, that was yeah, uh, in, in that's that, in the that, that's the that Nikki one home visit that they did. Right. Yeah. That's uh, right. I need to try and think if we've done that because we do need to go over it if we haven't. But um, I think we have. Right, well, that's de that's definitely one for the future. Reading his YouTube comments is another one, and um, what other other his manifesto? <laughs> oh yeah. Uh, right, okay. I really, I'm gonna have to wrap it up. Thank you very much to everybody's here, and thank you for joining us uh, 
uh, Tiffany with a surprise that made Shin incredibly excited. Yay! <laughs> well, thank Yay. you very much. Uh, and yeah, thanks to Amanda James and Shin, obviously, and uh, to everybody in the chat. Thank you for coming by and uh, indulging us. Well, we're all indulging each other in our bizarre 